Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be able to turn your would-be attacker into a giant walking tomato? No? Well, a company in Germany have. This is Terminus Tactical, and this is the Fab Gel Spray Criminal Identifier. Hi, and welcome to Terminus Tactical. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Fab Gel Spray, which is marketed on their website as being the UK's best selling self defense spray for over 20 years. So, there are many of these self defense sprays out there on the market today. However, Fab Gel seems to be the most popular. So, let's take a look at the actual bottle itself. We have TIW printed at the top here, which apparently stands for Temporary Identification Witness. Underneath that, you can see the words Fab Gel Spray, Criminal Identifier and apparently it's for emergency use only. We'll turn the bottle around. You've got all the jargon here as advertised on the website. And of course, it's made in Germany. You can purchase these on hundreds of UK websites, including Amazon and eBay. So as we all know, premeditated self-defense is illegal in the UK. So how does that make this product legal? Because the website itself actually labels it as Fab Gel Self-Defense Spray. 40 milliliter. And then on the same page as a criminal identifier spray, which is exactly how it's labeled on the bottle. It's advertised as non-toxic, non-harmful and containing no irritants whatsoever. Those of you who are well adverse with the law will know that any product that is made or adapted to cause injury or to be used in self-defense in the UK is illegal. The product details that I have here in front of me say it has a three to four meter range. It's an accurate ballistic red color jet gel, sprays a strong adhesive red food grade quality dye, excellent accuracy and power even in windy conditions, confuses and disorientates your attacker, stains the skin red for several days, used for criminal identification purposes, 40 millimeter volume, serves as a multiple attacker deterrent, it's non-toxic and non-harmful. The website goes on to say it's a criminal identifier ah. spray with crime on the rise, we are constantly having to look for alternative protection for ourselves and the family. Fab Gel was the 100% legal alternative to pepper spray, ideal for dog walkers, students, shop owners, travelers, joggers, taxi drivers, <gasps> nurses, and other healthcare workers, neighborhood wardens, walkers, <laughs> bikers, hikers, and anyone else who wants extra protection. Why not just fucking say it's for everyone? But it's still for self-defense. The only legal argument that I can see here being the fact that it is labeled on the bottle as a criminal identifier. So surely that's no different from me carrying around a Sharpie permanent pen and writing the words thieving on your forehead. Now I do question as to how effective this would be in a self-defense scenario, having actually been exposed to pepper spray and CS gas myself in the past. It's most certainly not gonna incapacitate your attacker for too long. However, I do believe that it would give you those vital seconds needed to be able to run, call for help, or even find a better weapon to use to defend yourself with. I'm definitely not gonna be testing this product out on myself because I don't fancy walking around the streets looking like Elmo from Muppets for the next seven days. I can imagine though that being hit by such a spray would temporarily disorientate you and leave you wondering what the fuck has just happened. What the fuck? However, if you would like to see a video of this Fab Gel in action, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can arrange for you. So there's a lot of contradictory articles floating around online, including from the police themselves, who don't seem to know whether or not this spray is legal. They say that until a case is brought before the court, they cannot confirm their legality or endorse them. Furthermore, they go on to say that if you are stopped and happen to have one of these in your possession, that there is a possibility you will be arrested and detained until the product and its contents can be verified. So basically what I'm divulging from this information is that it is legal to use and carry around with you and that the police will deal with it on a case by case basis. Some of them may arrest and detain you until they can verify what's in the can and others will just go, oh yeah, great, seen this before and fuck off about their death. Yeah. So section 51B of the Firearms Act 1968 prohibits any weapon of whatever description designed or adapted for the discharge of any noxious liquid or gas. However, because Fab Gel Spray does not contain any noxious substances and the can itself is not designed to discharge a noxious substance, 
Therefore, it's not actually prohibited by the Firearms Act. Oh. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that the website still advertises it as Farb Gel Self-Defense Spray. Your thoughts in the comments below. That's it from me today at Terminus Tactical. If you would like to see a separate video of this bad boy in action, then please do let me know, because I actually have another free cans of it right here. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, so I can continue to make entertaining videos like this to stop you from having to watch the rest of the shit out there on YouTube.